today I'm gonna to show you how you can update your kitchen and or bathroom with some of my favorite trends. And thank you to the Home Depot Canada for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. The trends I'm gonna show you today in this video can all be done using products from the Home Depot Canada. So let's start with kitchens. And for kitchens, I like to start with the cabinets. Because once you know your cabinet style, it really informs a lot of the other choices. One of the things I really like about doing a cabinet refacing, and I recently did complete a project for some clients using the Home Depot Canada's products, is that for the clients, they were able to save a lot of time, money, and headache. We didn't have to do a full renovation. We just did a refacing that they were able to either do an in-home consultation, or right now you can do a virtual consultation. You can choose through so many different cabinet styles and colors. And and it's able to be done at a lesser price than a full renovation and also in a lot quicker timeline as well. One of the trends I love in cabinets right now, or in kitchens in general, I should say, is that kind of European old world style. So it's really going with a lot of that natural look and natural materials. So for cabinets, I really like the sort of muted colors, kind of in the beigey tones, but in the matte, the muted, the shaker shallow style is really something that I'm loving in kitchens. So once I've got the cabinet chosen, then I like to move over and choose the countertops. One of my favorites that I also have used in a couple projects from the Home Depot Canada is this sile stone. It's a quartz material, very durable, but what I love in terms of trends is kind of the honed style of it. So when I say honed style, what it means is it's more of a matte finish, which I think gives it more of a modern vibe and goes with a lot of different styles. One of the other things I like to do, and a little tip for you, is instead of doing a different backsplash, if I love the material of the countertop, like I do with this one, is I will just run it up the back of the kitchen. This makes your kitchen appear larger. If there's not a lot of contrast in kitchen, it actually opens up the space. So, style stone, the honed finish, I absolutely love, I think is a great trend, but here to stay. And then we don't wanna forget about our practical items. <laughs> you know, like the faucet, like the sink. That's what I like about when I'm shopping for clients at the Home Depot Canada or I have them with me is we can just kind of go from section to section or go online and see all the products available. Um, for sinks, what I love about this one is you can either be overmounted or undermounted. I also like a couple of the practical features of this sink. One is that you can put the cutting board right in the sink and it fits perfectly, which I know can be a challenge. If not, I've done that. I also love that it has a strainer that fits perfectly in the sink. Then moving over to your faucet. Now, I think faucets are kind of like handles in a way. They kind of are a little bit the jewelry of the kitchen and we may not think of it that way, but they really are. So in a faucet, I really love a matte black. I think something simple like this one in a matte black just works with any type of kitchen style. I wanna give you a little tip though too, is you can mix metals. So if you went with a matte black faucet, um, I did in my recent kitchen renovation I did for clients, I did use a matte black handle, but if you wanted to mix it with a gold handle or silver or chrome, that's totally fine as well. So now that we've talked about some kitchen trends and kind of put together our kitchen design, let's move over to the bathroom. So when designing a bathroom, I really like to choose the vanity first. I mean, that just gives this jumping off point for the rest of the space. Um, what I love about choosing one at the Home Depot Canada is either if I'm in the store, they've got a lot of different products there. If I don't see what I'm looking for in terms of color and size, there's a ton more online that I can search for. One of the things I love when choosing a vanity for a bathroom is actually going in a classic style. I love a white vanity. I think you cannot go wrong. It never goes out of style and you can change up the other features down the road if you want to refresh it. So after I've chosen the vanity, I like to go over to what might be my personal favorite section, which is the tile section. And there are so many different tiles to choose from in store. And if you can believe it, there are so many more online. 
One of the tips and trends that I literally love to do in bathrooms is actually putting the tile behind the bathroom. A lot of times we don't think about that. We think about the tile on the floor, which of course is great, but to really add character and design to your bathroom, I encourage you to pick out something fun and maybe patterned to put behind the vanity. So you've got your vanity chosen, you've got your really fun tile, let's move over to the mirrors. And sometimes we don't give our mirrors in our bathrooms a lot of thought, but I wanna share a little tip with you. I love the idea of choosing a mirror that is also a medicine cabinet. I mean, most of our bathrooms are always looking for double duty in storage, and medicine cabinets have really come a long way in finding some fun designs that you wouldn't even know are, are actually a medicine cabinet, but are great for storage in small spaces. Okay, and then don't forget about the shower. We'll mosey on over to the shower section. Again, so many different options and I am gonna choose as my favorite trend is the matte black. Again, it is a trend, but I think it's a trend here to stay. I really like one with the square head on it as well. I just think it adds a really fresh, fun, modern vibe. If you don't wanna go matte black on the rest of the hardware in the bathroom, that's totally fine. Again, you can mix your metals, but I think adding that little punch of black in the shower just adds a really fun element. I hope you enjoyed this video and it got you inspired to do some updates to your kitchen and or bathroom and I'll link below to all the products I talked about today. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, that you're subscribed and hop on over to carladreyerdesign.com and take my finding your design style quiz. Thanks so much and I'll see you next week.